To create some interest and texture in my floral paintings, I spread a, the canvas with a layer of moulding paste first. And then while the moulding paste is wet, I press um, things into the surface, such as uh, some great Indian woodblock stamps that I have and other textured things. It could just be like the end of a paintbrush, which I've done here, uh, which shows, you know, the lines and so forth of stems and leaves. And uh, then there's other little um, items I might use. It could be the rough texture of some cardboard lining that came out of a wrapping around a product. Um, so all sorts of items like that. And I like to rough up the surface a bit so that when I apply the paint, the paint settles into these little grooves and marks and creates a more three-dimensional type of appearance. So you can see an example of this in this latest little floral painting I've made. And um, this you can see with the Allen flower heads that there's quite a bit of texture there uh, and it helps to add to that three-dimensional effect that the colour creates as well. And also with these other little flower heads here, you can see there's texture in there. And the way that the light catches this texture also helps to create that more uh, three-dimensional effect rather than the painting just being two-dimensional. And uh, so here, mostly in this particular painting, I haven't used stamps. I've just used the end of a paintbrush and scratched in the design before I actually started painting. And, you know, so for the Allen flowers, for example, I roughed up the texture a bit um, by you know, dotting the end of the paintbrush into it. And then that makes, you know, the lovely round kind of circular shape of it. And then here, as you can see, I scratched in the outline of a succulent and then the little succulent flowers. So it just makes the painting a little bit more fun and adds some little surprises for people to look at when they get up close.